I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. It's just too much. So I'm going to walk up the trail a little bit further and camp and, uh, and come back down here and cook some dinner and call it an evening. A little campfire zone last night. Made a tiny little fire. It just kept me warm. Gave me something to do for four hours after the sun went down. Had my coffee in bed. Now it's time to get up to Kevala Pass. So we've got two and a half, no, five miles straight up. And uh, I guess it's up around here and up into there. Little water break on the way up. I feel like I drank enough water yesterday, so I'm gonna pretty much stop and drink everywhere I can. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Gap, which is 10,700, came from that way, which is where Hamilton's Lake, Hamilton Lakes and Precipice Lakes are. And uh, I guess tonight I'm going to sleep down in those trees down there. These mountains are unbelievable.
Here I am camped at, I guess it's Big Arroyo Creek. It was cold last night. There's no other way to put it. Well, frozen, frozen, but it's the next thing. Time for coffee. It's good. It's good, good, good coffee. And I want to get it cross dry. This is the uh, pass I came over yesterday afternoon. The loop I'm trying to do to get back to Crescent Meadow, going up over Black Rock pass and then hitting the trail again the high sierra trail back but getting to see some new terrain for quad for the, at least the first three days anyway say to that. This is unbelievable. This is what I'm talking about. You can't always get up here, but I can always watch myself on video. <laughs> Got to get up over there. Trail goes up there. Brutal. Almost. The, uh, one of the big five lakes. These being the smaller five lakes. So this morning I came from around that corner and down below in that pass, or came up through here to this pass here, but that's where we've been. And here's where we're going.
Look at how gorgeous this is. Pretty nice being out here. Pretty nice being out here. Wow. Cruising down what I think is my last mile of the day. I'm always wrong when I say the last mile, I tell you. I have no idea, it could be a couple miles left still. So this is my water source uh, for tonight. Oh, what's interesting is I definitely see a trail going up that way, which surprises me. Because I'm like, anyway, so I'll have to look at the map tonight and figure it out. This is my camp spot. It's where the, uh, Mineral King Trail, five miles, I guess, Mineral King that way. Um, this was a gorgeous, beautiful spot. Beautiful river. Listened to it all night. Felt like a very lucky man. Boom. All right, something interesting. So I came around a corner. All of a sudden, I heard a big animal running straight up a tree. So, if I ask myself, could this have been the sound of a 200 pound animal going straight up a tree as fast as it could? Yeah. So far, nobody else is on the trail that I've seen which is a serious privilege. This is golden hour in the enchanted forest. Uh, tonight I'm gonna sleep out a couple miles up from here, take a early afternoon and rest a little bit, and then walk back in uh, on the same trail that we came out on day one. Oh, it's been beautiful, so. Get out here. When I say that it's too much, what I mean is it's just unbearable to witness so much beauty and to be out here on your own. <laughs> 